Good morning vlog. We are at the Donkey Sanctuary of Canada and we're gonna film some adorable donkeys and sheep and goats too. And I don't know how well you can tell but there's barn swallows in there as well. Just feeding them. Oh, oh dear. This is Summer. How old is she? 42. 42. Oh. And that's your oldest donkey? Yep. That's really cool. Donkeys can live a lot longer than horses. Horses are like 30 and I guess donkeys are like 40. <laughs> Corey's getting comfortable. We're waiting for these guys to roll around. There you go. Yeah. Yes. There we go. Like, get out of my way. I gotta go play <laughs> Corey's trying to Hi. film, buddy. Hi. <laughs> Making it very difficult for him to film. Can't even film that. <laughs> We're being followed. We keep walking away and they keep coming towards us. It's the Corey stare down. Look at him. He's just staring straight at him. The problem with donkeys and any other animal is that they stop doing what you want them to do as soon as you pull out the camera. That is such a cute so shot. Let's get it. Ah, uh, you stopped. Corey's got a friend. Very curious animals. They're very stoic. And unlike a horse, when a horse goes lame, you see it immediately. These guys, to protect themselves in the desert, they, they know how to it. hide it. By the time you see something, it's really bad. And They're what changing the shoe, diaper. and they actually use a diaper for it. Corey is filming it. He gets special treatment, and he used to sit in the corner of the stall. They're grooming each other. Yeah. So apparently 3.30 is feeding time, and they go crazy and make lots of noise when they hear this wagon thing coming with all the food on it. So that's what we're waiting for right now. The wagon is over there, so hopefully they'll hear it and go crazy. Corey's gonna stand inside when they come in. Right now the doors are closed, so we can't get in yet. Do random people just write on this? We did it for our um, donor appreciation day. Cool. All the donkeys are sweet okay. and adorable. Oh, I believe okay. in donkeys and the donkey sanctuary. Awesome. That's what it says. That's cute. Corey better watch out. It's gonna get run over. That's really cool. I'm just gonna roll it in all the way across and then close the middle fence to keep the boys away from the girls, I guess. Lots of them eating and having a good time. Corey's on the other side of the fence. This is amazing. There's so many of them. Hey vlog, today's Father's Day, and I just wanted to say Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Some of you may or may not know, my, uh, my dad passed away about three months ago. So this is going to be the first Father's Day I've had without him. We're going to go visit his grave today. I've never been there before, other than funeral. I wanted to go there before, it's just I wanted to go there with my family for the first time. So Father's Day makes a lot of sense. And I have a really good feeling about it, you know, and I'm really looking forward to it. And I also wanted to take the opportunity to just encourage everyone out there. I know not everyone has the opportunity to have a great relationship with their dad, but if you do, make the most of it. Because you never know when your time's up, or their time's up. And that goes for everyone in your family. Not just your dad, your mom, your sisters, everyone who's special to you. And you know, I had such a great love for my dad and he was such a great man that it's something I'd like to share. I want to share my dad. If you go to timfierce.tumblr.com, my very first post is my eulogy that I gave to my dad at the funeral. It's something I would really like to share with everyone because he was such an amazing man and I had so much love for him that I just I just want to share that. Um, I'll probably repost it as well so it's easier to find but um, it is the very first Thing I posted so you might have to go a couple pages back. Now I think I'll wish a happy Father's Day to my own dad. Happy Father's Day dad. I uh, think about you and I miss you every day and I love you with all my heart. I'm not sure what I did to deserve such an amazing dad but I, uh, I'm truly thankful to God for all the time that we got to spend together. Rest in peace. Good evening. It's 11 p.m. on a Sunday night and I require cookies. Unfortunately we don't have any eggs so I shall now attempt to bake said cookies without eggs. We'll see how this goes. First I'm required to beat these ingredients until fluffy. Good. Good. The mixture nears completion. I have only to add the chocolate chips. My, that's quite a lot of chocolate chips. Good thing no one's been snacking on these or we wouldn't have any. Now we wait. The process is complete. Now I must find a willing volunteer to ensure that it is edible. Excuse me. Would you like a cookie? <laughs> I would love one. There you Thank go. Thank you. <laughs> I'll just what kind is it? be here gathering results. Delish. <laughs> so guys, I have some good news. It looks like the technique will be done in time for tomorrow, which is good because we finally have a new Monday video on the main channel, which I'm really excited about. So make sure you check that out. It's going to be on the main youtube.com slash apprentice a channel and please like it and leave a comment. Thank you very much. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye.
daily vlogs I want them in my subscription box I wonder who might drop by Even though sometimes it's Canada outside so don't go away We're here every day It's not Apprentice A It's Apprentice A Hey!